Okay. Uh, there are bags of cassava here uh, ready to be processed. Uh, you can see these are all cassavas, this bag, uh, uh, this bag, and of course this, uh, these are all bags of cassava. And uh, yeah, this will all be transformed into, into a bread. And it takes a, a very difficult process in and getting the bread out of this because after peeling this stuff, uh, the lady is peeling out there. After peeling that stuff, it has to be grated, uh, and after which it is squeezed. And yeah, the, the gigogo stack of uh, of baking, it's a sort of baking, takes place then. So you can see that, right? She's still peeling. She has peeled like a, uh, she has peeled like a, uh, you see this, and uh, this is the cassava. Uh, yes guys, uh, and now I will show you uh, the greater cassava which has been squeezed to let the juice out of it. And here it is right now. Yeah, it is. Yeah, uh, this is it. Uh, you see this? There's a flower like and they need the, uh, the smoother one, and that is why uh, uh, the lady here is uh, a kind of uh, sieving it, you know. That is more smooth, and that will be more appropriate for the bread. So how many bag is this? One bag. Uh, this is a bag of cassava, uh, been peeled, grated, squeezed, and yeah, but I tell you, uh, uh, this, this is what uh, uh, most women are dependent on here in the western area, rural district of uh, Sierra Leone. What though, precisely? Uh, you can see this is a, uh, this is the place uh, where it is being. You can see the. They make the makeshift scent, you know. This is usually where they do uh, the baking. And a kind of sponsor might be okay for this, you know, because taking into consideration uh, if rain pops up now, uh, it would be like a, yeah, it will be drenched inside here. A lot of rain in here. So, Let's come closer and see. Uh, this is the madam here. Uh, good morning, madam. Fine. So, how is work? Okay. 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 Indeed, it's a manual thing. You know. uh, this stuff, this tuber here, is manually grated and squeezed. So, uh, the lady is saying whoever uh, wants to help, they require help, you know, because like they need a machine. Uh, to, 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 greater, to greater the cassava, the tuba, and after which to squeeze it, you know, all this is done manually by women. And so, here yeah, you can see the fire, she's sitting right next to the fire, it's very hot, you know, as I'm seated here, the heat wave is meeting me directly, you know, and yeah, it's a tough work, I tell you. You see the, the technology involved in doing that. She does this for the rest of the week, and this is the uh, the processed one. Yeah, uh, this is the processed one. Can I taste this one? Ah, yes, guys. 
it's very very good and this is a popular food here in Sierra Leone it's a popular street food you go anywhere around you will find this being sold with a big fried fish and gravy you know mm. hello you come to buy that ah you see she comes to buy it. let me see you see she is going now to do business with this, you know. She just bought this. Uh, she was the lady that was saving the, the cassava just now. But she actually came to, to purchase, you know. And yeah, she will go now, fry the fish and make the gravy and go out to sell this one. And she is dependent on selling this. I tell you, this brings income. If only the women are being sponsored, you know. Because it's a popular stuff here, very quite popular, you know. So this, you sell this uh, all for the day? Yeah, yeah. You heard that? How much is that? Hmm. Eight thousand dollars per dozen. You see the, you see the fish? Take this off. Let me see, please. You see the fish? Uh, these are the fish it is being served with. You buy uh, the bread, this this will be fried, and then, yeah, you have a, a very good dish, you know, a very good stuff to eat. Thank you, eh? Yeah. So guys, it, uh, the heat wave is, is too tough here. Ah. Uh, uh, so madam uh how much do you buy the the bag the bag of cassava a hundred and forty thousand units per bag of cassava you know and uh, that is like a we uh, pay for greater than twenty thousand. You pay for greater twenty thousand, which is twenty thousand. It cost you one fifty. You have to pay for time twenty thousand. Okay. It now cost you one seventy. Okay. That one seventy. You will do the process with an at twenty thousand. It now cost one hundred and eighty thousand. Okay. So it costs a lot. The cassava mm -hmm. comes from the provinces, not here. Mm -hmm. It comes from the provinces, and the transportation to bring it here costs uh, a lot. I know, Custom. Yeah, Very and so price. it has been uh, double expensive because now uh, there is a hike in fuel prices, and yeah, uh, that is affecting every commodity, every commodity in the country, especially uh, uh, commodities that come from the provinces. You know, uh, to bring it here. Wow. Any each one magna thirty thousand will be paid for now. And that like three dollars, a little bit less than a three dollar to bring it from the provinces. Maybe that's the way you can see Casa. Yes. I actually I was actually here yesterday. Unfortunately there was no cassava. She was awaiting the arrival of the cassava because she told me the cassava was supposed to have come later in the evening, you know. And so I was unable to film it yesterday. And today about uh Four or five bags of cassava. Okay. Let me. Twenty-two bags were empty. Ah. Is that the cassava do? There. No. Let me see. She says about twenty-two bags. You do all with this? I only make it all. Not one bit, no more. Okay. Let today's only process them four okay. bags. So okay. Tomorrow back now by day. It's now the process every day. Wow. Mm -hmm. Every day, this is a, a continuous process. Every day, cassava bread is being made. No holiday. Every day, I tell you, this is entrepreneurship that uh, that requires help because uh, this is indigenous products. You know, if these women are getting support, I believe this will boost the indigenous uh, uh, entrepreneurship. Because I tell you, look at this. You see, it's a very good stuff. A very good stuff, and. It tastes better because uh, it's kind of soft to chew, you know, very, very soft, like the normal bread, you know. I want to help these ladies, help them with equipment. Because the fire out here 
It's very, very hot. Even though they are accustomed to it now, they get used to it, but I tell you, it's still very hot. Yeah, uh, and the, the one out there uh, is the seaweed uh, cassava now. Uh, the powder like, you know. Wow. I tell you, this is a tough job, a very tough one. You have you have yeah. children? Yes. Oh, she has four kids, yeah, four children. Okay. Three yeah. I get one boy. Okay. Ah, uh, you heard that? Uh, three girls and a boy, you know, and she's uh, responsible. She's, she's responsible for them, and all her expenses uh, comes from, from this this stuff, you know. And that is why she does not take it lightly. She's always here trying to produce more because more customers will come to demand this, you know. So some people have come this morning to buy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's a sort of a, yeah a loan after you this processed one. Uh, the retailers will come, uh, buy it, or loan it. You go do business after after making your sales. Like you take uh, you deduct your your profit and and bring the uh, the lady's money back. You know, as she also does with the cassava. You know, they will supply her cassava after uh, doing business. Uh, she uh, she pays for the cassava too. So, uh, the people come from Watlo here and sometimes even Freetown, right? No, no, before this person, I'm Freetown in Ah. So, the weekly, they come Friday to Friday, they can get there, they get there, they can 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 get there, Guys, uh, wow, we usually start this stuff, uh, the baking process usually around five, four, three o'clock, three o'clock at night, yeah, three a.m. Uh, they start this stuff, and yeah, till now she's seated uh, doing this stuff. You can see the dedication in her, uh, as a woman wanting to care her best for her children, you know. It's a, it's a serious stuff, but that is how strong the African woman is, you know, doing all her best to to care for her children. And this is Africa, and yeah, if you are anywhere around the world and you want to help these ladies, uh, just help them with equipment. I tell you, they are seriously in need of equipment. Machines to greater and squeezing, you know, squeezing the liquid, the juice out of uh, out of the cassava and sometimes even ovens, you know, ovens to do this stuff. Imagine producing uh, 90 dozens of this, as she just said. Uh, there was a customer here this morning and who, who came from Freetown and she actually ordered uh, 90 dozens of this stuff, you know, because yeah, she wants it for some international customers, you know. Yeah, you might see it's a, a local, yeah, but it brings a whole lot of income. They are doing it manually. Imagine now they have machines to do this. That would be double effort. That would bring more money into their pockets, you know. Yeah. This is a hard stuff, a hard work, you know. Can you see that? So actually, Aminata, Aminata has done a, a heavy job here, found in this one. Uh, these are uh, these cassava. Uh, see this? She's pounding it from is pounding this and yeah uh, uh, this is the 
this is the pounded one, you know. It's, it's smoother, you know. It's smoother. Unlike this, it has some some sort of people see it, you know. Yeah. The pounding though is a serious work. So can I let you? I just want to see if I, if I can. Guys, it's difficult. And the women here are going to a tough time, you know. It's, this is not easy, so it's not an easy stuff. And that is why the lady was saying that uh, she needs a, a sort of a, a machine to get her this stuff because uh, this is a tough process, I tell you. Ah, oh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's a tough walk. Ah, uh, yes, guys. Uh, what I want to do now is to see if I can make one of that stuff. Uh, one of the bread if i can actually do that and that is what i want to try now you know i have to sit uh, over there uh, closer to the fire and yeah endure the heat wave and experience exactly what these ladies are experiencing near the fire you know and it will be fun too to make a bread, you know. It's tough, you see. And there's a lady behind me too. What's your name? Mariama, okay. Madam Mariama is working relentlessly, you know. Uh, dedicated in, in doing the stuff. Yeah. It's a hard work. I tell you, it's a hard one. So you come, 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 come. You see, come. Uh, can you see that? Yeah, Madam is saving the. You here, come. The cassava already grated and squeezed cassava. Because usually when it is grated, it has a whole lot of juice in there. Uh, sap, you know, a sort of sap. It has a whole lot of sap in there and you have to squeeze it uh, in order to remove the sap, the juice, you know. And after which, you have to sieve it a little bit in order to make it smoother. And that is exactly what she is doing now, you know. It's a rigorous process, you know. Little, little, little task, you know. In order to have a smoother bread. Madam, I forgot to ask you, Mama. Kadiatu, eh? Water. Okay, the other day she told me her name. She's Madam Kadiatu. Welcome. Uh, she's the head of the bakery here. Uh, yeah. A strong woman. A strong African woman. Uh, she's very much talented, you know. What happened to your hand here? It is well. Ah, okay. And the Okay. Wow. She can't even launder. She pays someone to launder her clothes. Her hands, you know, they are getting uh, too difficult. Uh, she can't fetch water. She can't launder her clothes. Uh, she has to pay because process is all she does is is to bake and she has to pay people to mm -hmm. to peel the cassava grate yes. the cassava pound yes. it mm -hmm. so you see which means many people survive if you can if you can peel cassava and you are being paid, at least you earn something. And so you tell me now, this lady is empowered, giving some equipment, because it will be a bigger industry. Uh, she will begin to supply 
So export this this product. And this product is worth exporting, I tell you. This is supposed to be sold at supermarkets, at malls, you know. So it's one more explanation that we don't get this. see, because it's a it's a typical African food and it needs promotion, it needs to be promoted. I tell you, uh there's a whole industry, there's a whole factory here, you know. And, and just that the lady is not getting the support she requires, you know. Uh, these are all entity that can employ a whole lot of people, you know. This uh, background, but we are now in the center. Okay. We are in the center. We are the highest supply. Highest supply. Okay. Kasada, we are short with Kasada. Okay. Easy for most supply, but so we are not really short. The neighbor who goes still all in there. Okay. The one that is going to fit on the salary to come. She is saying that. Uh, we are now in the center. Maybe. There are similar bakeries around here, around Watlu, but here is the is the main center. You know, is the most popular bakery. You know, even when I when I asked around, when I wanted to to inquire about this, uh, many people pointed here that I should come here, and yeah, uh, that's a testament that this is the most popular center, uh, a, the most popular bakery uh, that produces cassava bread around Watlo. You know, and I can tell you that uh, the lady is very dedicated and hardworking. Yeah, she does this yeah. every day, nonstop. You know. This girl, this girl, push you and bim bim get spend now. We gonna do wood business. You don't wanna wood. You don't wanna bim bim what salary? Then chat chat to the people up there now. So we buy three for two thousand. We sold a long long so now we buy five and three for five thousand. But for like get a back now to me. Walk up, don't don't don't. Little logs of food costs uh five thousand euros per three. Three little logs of food, you know, uh five thousand euros. You can imagine that, and. More is required to produce uh, a large quantity of cassava, cassava bread here, which means she has to buy a bundle, you know, which costs a lot. It costs a lot because the one back here is to buy 15,000. Okay. But for now, one rich one back here, so if you know, buy 25,000, 20,000, you can. Yeah, but what? Can you hear that? 15,000, because the bank is the one five. 15,000, 10,000, she'll go for the one back. You know, post it. Expensive. That's the stuff here. Yeah. It's very expensive, you know. Uh, uh, per bag of cassava. So we sell some people getting money back or if for next year if you like you'll get some money. Okay. What she does is uh go to the provinces and and uh, uh buy a whole farm of cassava, you know. And uh, when she negotiates for that, then she will be supplied uh frequently, you know. Whenever a harvest is made, she will be supplied because she's uh, she has already put in for the whole farm, you know. Uh that is what she does. I tell you, this is a good industry. This can this can bring employment. Uh, this can bring income. This can boost the economy. If only uh, uh, much support is given to these ladies out here. You know, imagine producing a, a ton of this. Imagine that five tons of this bread. It will require exports, which will bring income to the country. You know. And she's very experienced. How long have you been in this, my friend? How long? How long? Have you been this? Yes. Uh, this year, if I don't, I don't pass it 20 years now. Ah, it's over 20 years mm -hmm. she has been in this. I don't try the milk as woman, I don't build too much. Wow, you heard that? So I don't try this small, I get four pictures of the things that are all the good school. Uh, that is common. Most of the women here. Uh, uh, the breadwinners, you know, are the breadwinners of the family. And so she has lost her mother. Uh, her grandmother, let's interact with her. That's her grandmother. She lost her mother, but only her grandmother remains now. Gani? Gani Moni? Ah, this is Gama. 
Your mama is work. Small, small. Yeah, better. Yeah. This is what? Banana. Banana? Yeah. Ah, banana cake. Banana cake. Guys, uh, uh, this is banana cake. Can you sell this one? How much is it, Gani? 1,000 lions. Ah, this is good. This is made from banana. Ah, Gani, I think I will buy this one. Eh? I mean. Mm. Yes, it's crunchy. Mm. Very good. You see, even Gani does something. She does not sit by, you know. She has something to do, you know. Doing this, selling this. Yeah, she gets something in her purse. Hmm? So, Gani, she's your daughter. Like, you know, yeah, yeah and I that. Okay, okay, okay. That's her, grand, that, that's her granddaughter. The lady. Uh, she said she lost her mother, and this is her grandmother. Wow. Gani, you need? Ah, uh, Mama Gamat, okay. I'm sick, eh? Ah, okay. Uh, the lady. Uh, was named after her. She's a grandmother. You know. wow. So, Gani, uh, have you been doing this before? You said we don't need this. Okay, her daughter, the lady, the lady, uh, uh, Madame Kadiak over there. Her mother was the one who, who began this work here, processing cassava bread, you know. And when she died, uh, her daughter took over, you know. And that is the stuff. Uh, you see, she's frying the, uh, the, the banana cake, you know. Guys. It's very good. Mm, I have to pay. You know, this is from Ghani. She needs money, you know. Push. Come on, yeah. If an old woman like this can do something, we must try as well to be engaged in something productive because productivity uh, will make us sustainable, will make us uh, self reliant, will make us. Uh, independent you economically you know but if you're not productive if we if we become liabilities rather than assets to the states or to the continent then that's a big crisis that's a heavy crisis you know you see the kids are all around you know? all around <laughs> I need to pay now. I've eaten Ghani's uh, cake. I need to pay. You see, there's a thousand yens, you know. Mm, Ghani, thank you very much. Eh? Ah, she just gave me one. Yeah, this is a gift. Thank you, Gama. Thank you, yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Ah, yes, guys, I. I got a gig. It's not a big now. Now we go to Mubang. Yes. Uh, I just got a bread, uh, cassava, uh, banana, banana cake, cake from Gama, and yeah, it's crunchy. It's very tasty, you know. Ah, I've seen the grandmother, and she's doing something too, selling banana cake and. That is exactly what I was saying. Ah, she has a, a lot of grandchildren, and so she needs to do something because it should be coming gamma, 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 you know. And the cake you saw out there is usually eaten by uh, by her grandchildren, you know. And that is the beauty of Africa, you know. We are in a family, a whole family lives as a, as a social unit, you know, in peace and and harmony you know uh, that is the uh, that is africa and uh, uh, that is our perspective of the family, you know? it's an organic one an organic family system 